Okay guys, uh, I want to talk to you real quick about a video that became legendary on the internet and I'm talking of course about the Ty Lopez here in my garage video. Now, you know, my own impressions and initial impressions, um, I went back and kind of took a closer look at what kinds of lessons could we learn, you know, as product marketers or as entrepreneurs and there are a lot of lessons here right um and and why this video is a is a good case study for any entrepreneur any product person there's a lot going for it so let, let me just unpack my initial reaction uh just to kind of give you my perspective as an entrepreneur as a product marketer uh, first of all, this is a video that has become pretty big, like it got up to over 71 million views on the internet. And so that tells us a, a few things, like a lot of people saw this video, it's way up there with like music videos, with like really popular massive music videos. And no doubt it played a big role in making Ty Lopez kind of like the breakout social media star that he became uh, and uh, he's even bigger now but you know th this was pretty big um so th there are a lot of really uh, cool things going on with this video and if you haven't seen the video you should absolutely check it out it's called ty lopez here in my garage and in the video ty begins by you know pointing to a lamborghini that he just bought and then he talks about why this is cool but then pans back to show like some books behind him and then he says you know i actually like these books a lot more because this is how i've made my money is by acquiring knowledge and it's what has made me able to buy lamborghinis and all this coolness so then he ends up talking about the mentors and the books that he's discovered over the years that have helped him and then he ultimately ends out with uh, a call to action to buy his 67 steps uh, course uh, info product. So clearly you can use this kind of uh, viral lifestyle type video to promote whether it's an e-commerce product or whether it's a course, an info product, uh, whether it's a SaaS, software as a service, or it's some other kind of product like showing kind of lifestyle type thing uh you showing off cars you know sports hobbies different kinds of things that you like to do like uh you know you can definitely use this kind of lifestyle marketing video uh one of the uh, internet marketers that uh you know I, I used to watch a lot just of his videos was john chow the uh, internet marketing affiliate marketing um, master okay and he's done a whole bunch of lifestyle marketing for his brand as well talking about the dot-com launches and you can see him driving around in his sports cars uh, you can see him uh, you know doing this kind of lifestyle like how I'm living on a day-to-day -day basis kind of lifestyle thing I think it plays out really well on platforms like snapchat and Instagram so this is powerful powerful stuff uh, and you know you can see like Ty Lopez with the Lamborghini of course he knows like a lot of young dudes that look up to him are gonna be super impressed with this kind of thing because like you know uh, young guys really love sports cars and I mean uh, they they appeal to them so like they, they think like okay this is great um, and by associating himself to that and his course his 67 steps course to a brand new Lamborghini it kind of elevates the status of his brand and his course to where now young dudes want to get into 67 steps or any other Ty Lopez product that he happens to be selling I'll give you guys another good example of lifestyle marketing at work you know uh, if you look at the Dos Equis brand it's a beer brand I'm sure you've seen the ads uh, especially on TV like the most interesting man in the world and there's this um, older guy older gentleman type guy and you know you see him doing all kinds of crazy things like super 
wild, dangerous, cool things. Um, and so then they associate that with the Dos Equis brand and they say, this is the most interesting man. This is what he has done. And you know, he always ends up uh, saying that thing like, I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer Dos Equis, <laughs> which, is, which is kind of funny, you know, like, um, but it was done in a humorous way and that's lifestyle marketing. So this is very similar to the style that you see Ty Lopez taking in here in my garage. Personally, I think it's brilliant marketing. I, I really think it's brilliant marketing. Now, of course, some people like criticize lifestyle marketing because they say like, you know, these lifestyle marketers are portraying things, first of all, that are fake. Now, I don't think that Ty Lopez and the Lamborghinis are fake. Like a lot of people, you know, in the past, maybe early on, people thought he was faking the Lamborghinis. He was faking the money. He was faking this and that. But I think it's well documented, right? Like none of the uh, stuff he's showing is fake. So on that point, I think I think he's I think he's OK. He's not like he's not like these rappers that are showing up in like gold chains that are maybe you know artificial or not real or something like that like or renting the lamborghini you know things like that like he he is doing what he is saying and what he's doing is kind of like the same thing so i think on that point lifestyle marketing if you're gonna do it you better watch out for that kind of criticism right like are you fake or are you real if you are faking it you're gonna get exposed um, and, and same goes in other aspects of your business. Like if you are trying to launch like an e-commerce product, if the product is shoddy, you just drop shipping it, but you never checked out the quality and things like that, it might come back to haunt you in the long term. Like these things might harm your brand long term. So you need to make sure like you're congruent, right? If you are saying your product is organic, it's an organic supplement it better be <laughs> you, you know <laughs> it better be you better not be taking some processed junk from somewhere and shipping it as super organic 100 percent certified organic like you gotta be real on the internet especially nowadays with kind of like conscious consumers and things like that i think consumers have become super sophisticated they want to make sure that if a brand is saying something like this makeup is, you know, uh, super skin friendly, 100%, it, it, it goes well with your skin, it's all organic. They want to make sure that it's actually organic. Like you didn't put some dangerous chemicals in there, like, um, like you are claiming uh, that it's eco-friendly or whatever. Whatever your claims, you better make sure they are for real and that you're not faking nothing, right? Because consumers are very smart. So you can use lifestyle marketing, but just be careful. Make sure you're being congruent, you're being authentic, and you're not being fake. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of other things that you could learn just from watching the actual video and, you know, all the various elements that Ty did in there, like, you know, the video itself, it's like just a phone shot, right? Like he's using some kind of mobile phone, probably an iPhone at the time, and just kind of like, a, you know, uh, shooting himself um, first person style. It's not some super high production type of video, but that's probably what helped it go viral is that it looks so authentic. It looks spur of the moment. It doesn't look staged. Although I tell you what, it was probably very much staged. <laughs> there the probably was a lot of plotting that went into it. Uh, Ty is a master of social media, right? Uh, you might not have thought about it for like a week or days, but I, I bet you I'm pretty sure he put a little bit of planning into it. So there's a lot to learn there and you can use this style of marketing. I think, I think he's a you know, product marketing genius. Uh, kind of like Steve Jobs, I think he's, he's uh, one of the marketing geniuses. So there, there's a lot to learn there, and uh, that's my reaction and my, you know, uh, 
first take on, on, on that whole here in my garage video. Now, if you want to grow sales of your own products, you can book a free um, uh, product uh, brainstorm, product sales brainstorm. And you can also grab my free book as well as um, check out my bootcamp, which is also free. Links are in the description.